Okay, good evening, class. How are you today, class? All of you ready to study? Actually, it's raining very hard outside my house, and uh, I hope that it doesn't disturb uh, my voice. Okay, how are you today? And uh, is it raining at your place? Hello, people. It's still raining in my home and have thunder. Oh, yeah. The same as uh, my place. Yeah, it's raining very hard and have thunder. Yeah. Thank you for your sharing. How about the other student? How are you today? And how is the weather at your place? Is it raining or the weather is so cool? Yeah, it's raining very hard. Sleepy. Uh, you feel sleepy, Mr. Lau. Yeah, raining hard. And after a hard working day, hard working uh, study, and it's raining, make the air very cool, and we want to sleep. Okay. Well, let's try. Yeah, let's drink something like uh, tea or coffee to wake you up and uh, study with me. And later you can uh, relax and sleep. Yeah, another answer. Is, um, hello, Mr. Wokvik. Yeah, it's also raining uh, at your place. Yeah, I try to speak louder than normal day. Okay, class, can you listen to me clearly? It's raining so hard, and I think sometimes uh, the noise of the rain will disturb you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lau. You can listen to my voice, and that's good. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bauman, for your confirmation. I can lang an also. Uh, Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lucky you, uh, Mr. Wokwik. Uh, sorry, uh, what the Mr. Ting Ang? Yeah, the weather is beautiful at your place. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wokwik. Uh, you can listen to my voice clearly. Okay, so that means we can continue with our lesson class. Uh, last time we had discussed about pronunciation with. Uh, now a verb plus s uh, or es and the way we should remember how to pronounce yeah with s or z or z or s okay remember and uh, we also finished the exercise on this page okay and today we missed to this part about expression of frequency rồi bữa trước các anh chị đang dừng ở cái phần phát âm đối với các động từ danh từ khi các anh chị thêm s hoặc es vào thì sẽ có một số từ mình sẽ biến đổi cái số lượng âm tiết à, hôm nay mình sẽ tiếp tục với phần b expression of frequency à, chúng ta sử dụng một số các trạng từ ở chỉ sự thường xuyên à, đối với câu hỏi how often các anh chị có thể đọc là how often hoặc là how often đều được ha từ này mình có hai cách đọc rồi đối với các cái hoạt động mà các anh chị có thể tính được số lần 
ví dụ như mình học tiếng Anh à, 3 lần một tuần à, hay là một lần một tuần chẳng hạn thì các anh chị lưu ý đối với một lần thì các anh chị sẽ dùng once à, once hai lần các anh chị sẽ dùng twice và từ ba lần trở lên sẽ là times à, times thêm s vào thôi các anh chị once a week à, once a day à, once a year Uh, twice a week, twice a month nhưng mà three times yeah, three times Rồi, ví dụ trong uh, sách của mình I exercise three times a week Ở một tuần thì tôi tập thể dục ba lần Rồi, twice a year Anita takes the vacation with the family uh, cứ uh, hai lần một năm thì uh, cô này đi nghỉ khác với gia đình của cô ấy và ngoài ra đối với câu hỏi how often thì các anh chị uh, có thể sử dụng cái trạng từ every uh, every để các anh chị trả lời ha và mình có thể đặt uh, ở cuối câu hoặc đầu câu đều được ví dụ trong sách của mình every Saturday we play tennis or we go to the dentist every six months các anh chị có thể để đầu câu hoặc cuối câu đều được ha rồi vậy thì các anh chị lưu ý đối với câu hỏi how often hay là how often à, mình sẽ có các cái trạng từ chỉ sự thường xuyên à, ví dụ như là uh, once, uh, twice or three times hoặc là every hoặc là khi các anh chị không xác định được uh, số lần và chúng ta tính uh, ví dụ mình chỉ nói là uh, thỉnh thoảng thường xuyên hoặc là luôn 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 À, thì các anh chị có các cái trạng từ như là always, sometimes, usually. Rồi ví dụ giờ câu hỏi các anh chị là cái máy của cô nó sắp hết pin. How often do you study English? How often do you study English? Rồi thử các anh chị chia sẻ cho cô câu hỏi này ha. Câu hỏi các anh chị là tuần các anh chị học tiếng Anh à, mấy lần? À, Okay, so let's think and tell me your answer, please. Okay, if I ask you uh, how often do you study English? So let's think and tell me your answer, please. And then you can tell me more detail. Rồi, các anh chị uh, sẽ trả lời cho cô. Ngoài cái thông tin là tuần các anh chị học tiếng Anh mấy lần đó thì mình có thể nói thêm một số thông tin. Ví dụ như hôm đó các anh chị học uh, môn gì? À, và mình học và từ mấy giờ tới mấy giờ và cảm nhận của các anh chị về môn đó như thế nào ha để mình có nhiều thông tin để mình chia sẻ hơn thay vì các anh chị chỉ trả lời uh, once a week, uh, twice a week chẳng hạn. Ok, so let's think and then tell me your answer please.
Okay, class. So let's try your best to share more information. Uh, let's see. The first student who raised his hand that is uh, Mr. Vang Tun. And after that, we will listen to uh, Mr. Bảo Minh. Rồi cô mời anh uh, anh Tuấn chia sẻ đáp án trước ha. Sau đó mình sẽ nghe tiếp đáp án của anh Minh. Okay. So let's tell me your answers, please. Uh, yes. Xin chào. Uh, I share my uh, uh, my uh, learning English by my life. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I can listen to you. Mm. Let's tell me your answer, please. Uh, I talk about when I, uh, I'm a student. I'm learning English. So after after ready from the university, I only work. Uh, working so uh, uh, I don't have um, uh, study at least so I talk uh, when I was student mm, uh, yeah. uh, when, a stu uh, when I was student and learning in this three time per week three time per week I learning for grammar grammar mm. so, uh, first time I'm very um, I um, I can speak English and I can understand, but when I write writing, I cannot write it. So I'm worried about um, my grammar. So uh, I have to go to school for learning grammar, grammar and three time per week. So uh, after that, I see uh, grammar very important for for a language. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, thank okay. you. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your sharing. That's so nice when uh, yeah. some student ready and raise your hand to answer the question. So you talk about when you were a student, you study three times a week. Okay. So could you tell me uh, which subject in English you think is the most uh, easy one for, uh, sorry, uh, the most difficult one for you to study? Uh, for yeah, it's it's mean it's mean. Uh, uh, could you repeat? Yeah, and uh, yeah. So uh, I I ask you one more time. Could you tell me which subject in English? Mm. Yeah, you think is the most difficult one to you? For example, listening, so, reading, writing, grammar. For example, which one is the most difficult to you? Or oh, maybe my maybe grammar until now grammar. Grammar. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Grammar very important for every uh, language. So, uh, but the grammar for a language with me, the I often forgot. So. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when I uh, was student, I am um, learning the uh, learning grammar for a long time. When I was the first student to, uh, for uh, for nearly four years, many yeah. many school. But after I graduated from university, working working mm -hmm. about three years later, I forgot <laughs> when <laughs> I only <laughs> I only understand uh, what you say, but I can cannot um, respond or answers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So uh, I hope that after you uh, finish studying at the uh, Yadon University, what's the right. second uh, major in English, you can uh, speak more fluently. And when I uh, ask you more questions, you can respond quickly. Okay. okay. So, thank you yes. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Thank, right. you. thank you. Thank uh, you. À, anh Tuấn nghe một số câu hỏi, câu hỏi thì à, hiểu được nhưng mà <cười> nhiều khi từ vựng hoặc là phản xạ chưa có được nhanh lắm thì hy vọng là sau cái à, yeah. học văn bằng hai xong rồi thì à, khả yeah. năng của mình ít nhiều cũng có tiến bộ lên một tí xíu hoặc tiến bộ rất là nhiều để các anh chị có thể giao tiếp hoặc là mình à, mình à, phục vụ cho công việc của mình. Ok, thank you yeah. very Thank you. Cảm ơn cô. Yeah. Yeah. And I will listen to one more student. That is now Mr. Bảo Minh. Can you uh, tell me your answer, please? 
hello teachers hello mit uh, oh, sorry hello mit phương um, hello yeah. everybody <coughs> How uh, you I'm, I'm good but my voice is not really good <laughs> oh yeah you you uh, you got a sore throat yeah i think so because uh some today i got the uh, catching drain <laughs> oh yeah you stuck in the rain mm -hmm. yeah okay i hope that uh, you uh, get soon better <laughs> okay thank you so let, now, let's tell me your answer yeah what okay do you uh to For me, I always use English for my study and my teaching. So I think I study English every day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, and especially for this course, I study English for four times per week. Mm. This day, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm. Um, Uh, more than that, I think um, I'm a little bit struggle in grammars or uh, I'm struggle with tense because in my teaching I usually use um, as a tense, but mm -hmm. with uh, with learning I need to use like 12 or 13 tense together. Mm -hmm. So that's why a little bit struggle with tense. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's it for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your sharing. Let's wait me a minute. Yeah. So thank you for your. Sharing, Mr. Man. Yeah, uh, you said that maybe you study English uh, every day, not only um, when you attending the online classes. So maybe you study by yourself, and uh, you think that the uh, grammar, yeah, uh, make you stuck or you uh, struggle with grammar because maybe it's how a lot of structure and uh, different kinds of tenses. Okay, and uh, I have another question for you. So, uh, when you study English, um, do you uh, speak English with your brother or your colleagues every day, or you just uh, practice uh, with yourself? Um, especially in my subject, I need to teaching in English. Mm -hmm. And yeah. also, I, I work with some foreigner, especially mm -hmm. from Japan. Mm. Yeah. So I, oh. I'm not very good in Japanese, so I need to talk with them in English. Okay, that's so nice. Because your college is uh, from Japan, but you can't speak Japanese, and you use English to communicate with them. Yeah. Uh, some some work in Japanese is not really emphasize okay. what I mean, so I need to talk in English. Yeah, ha have English. you have you ever uh, study Japanese at the the center? Uh yes, I have N two for Japanese, but I not use a lot. Ah uh, okay, I see. Okay, so that means uh, you use uh, English. Uh, very good, the uh, children in our class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for your sharing. Uh, but I think uh, you uh, you feel comfortable and uh, you uh, volunteer to answer so many questions. That's not like uh, you can improve your speaking skill and uh, also make you uh, have the ability to respond to the question more fluently. Okay, so I hope uh, you will enhance or improve uh, your level higher and higher. Okay, thank you very much for your sharing. Yeah, thank you. And now uh, let's look at uh, in the message class. <clears throat>
Mr. Okay, uh, we have some student answer in the message. Mr. Lau said that uh, he study five times per week. Uh, Mr. Wokvi said that he studies uh, four times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Ms. Lang An said that I study English five times a week. It's about two hours. I usually learn yeah i usually learn not learning yeah on apps and youtube okay thank you that's also a good way for you uh, to practice uh miss tan sun i study english every day 30 minutes to one hour when i have free time i learn new words practice listening and speaking again okay. thank you for your sharing and i hope that uh, Someday you will turn on your mic and uh, talk to me and our classmate. Okay, thank you. Mr. Lop said that I study English four times per week. Two times uh, for speaking and listening, one time for grammar, and one time for writing and reading. Okay, uh, that is uh, the word you can use for communication a uh, bit for academic you can say once yeah once so week for grammar and writing as uh, reading a uh, bit twice uh, for speaking and listening thank you miss yuin say that i study english four days a week on tuesday thursday saturday and sunday it takes about uh, two and a half hours uh, for each day. Mr. Workwick said that on Tuesday and Thursday listening and speaking class is very interesting. <laughs> Saturday uh, grammar class is also interesting. Uh, Sunday is uh, reading and writing is interesting too. <laughs> So that means learning English is interesting on the week. Okay, thank you very much for your sharing. Yeah, anh Việt cảm nhận là học môn nghe nói rất là thú vị vào ngày thứ thứ ba và thứ năm, thứ bảy học môn grammar cũng thú vị luôn và chủ nhật học môn môn đọc và môn viết cũng thú vị luôn. À, tóm lại là học tiếng Anh rất là thú vị à, trong suốt tất cả các buổi trong tuần. À. Ok, thank you for your answers. That's a very a positive thinking and I hope that all of the students in our class have the same feeling as you. Hy vọng là tất cả các anh chị còn lại trong lớp à, cũng có cảm nhận giống như anh Việt để mình có thêm nhiều động lực để mà <cười> tham gia học tất cả các buổi học đầy đủ cũng như là à, phát biểu làm bài tập à, thật là nhiều và ok thank you very much miss uh, phương thanh xá đạt i study english four days a week on tuesdays thursday saturday and sunday to serve my work i can study every day because i'm very busy ok thank you Thank you, class. Uh, that's very uh, happy when all of you uh, feel great, uh, feel nice, feel comfortable to study, and uh, some students have nice answers to share with our classmates. Now we move to next part. Okay, now we have uh, five more questions for you to practice. Now, bây giờ các anh chị tiếp. Uh, với phần C, uh, một số câu hỏi để các anh chị áp dụng vào cái phần uh, câu hỏi uh, về sự thường xuyên how often. Uh, question number one, how often do we have this class? Uh, how often do you see your best friend? How often do you go to the doctor? How often do you do exercise? And how often do you speak uh, to your parents? À, đây mình có năm uh, câu hỏi khá là những cái thông tin cũng khá là quen thuộc với các anh chị. 
À, đối với mỗi câu hỏi thì ngoài việc các anh chị trả lời ở mức độ thường xuyên ví dụ như là à, mình học cái lớp mà học môn của cô một tuần hai buổi à, sau đó các anh chị à, cố gắng mình chia sẻ thêm một số thông tin ha à, ở mỗi buổi học thì mình cảm nhận như thế nào và mình à, thường làm gì trong cái buổi học đó ví dụ vậy à, câu số 2 thì bao lâu các anh chị gặp người bạn thân của mình À, thay vì các anh chị chỉ trả lời là tháng gặp lần hoặc là tuần gặp lần chẳng hạn thì các anh chị chia sẻ thêm một số thông tin ví dụ như thường là mình gặp nhau ở đâu ở quán cà phê hay là à, đi ăn uống cùng nhau hay là tới nhà của nhau à, để chúng ta chia sẻ những cái à, chuyện vui buồn trong, trong cuộc sống hay là à, trong công việc ví dụ vậy các anh chị à, cố gắng mình chia sẻ thêm nhiều thông tin À, để mình nói được nhiều hơn đi xíu nữa thay vì chỉ trả lời một lần hay lần hay là ba lần một tuần ví dụ vậy. How often do you go to the doctor? Rồi bao lâu thì các anh chị đi bác sĩ ví dụ có các anh chị nói là khi nào bệnh nó lâu hết thì mới đi bác sĩ. Có các anh chị nói là năm đi một lần hay lần gì do công ty yêu cầu phải đi kiểm tra sức khỏe hay là có anh chị nói rất là quan tâm về vấn đề sức khỏe nên là cũng một năm cũng đi kiểm tra được vài lần ví dụ vậy rồi câu số 4 how often do you do exercise rồi bao lâu thì các anh chị tập thể dục một lần ví dụ hai lần ba lần một tuần gì đó thường thì các anh chị tập thể dục ở đâu ở công viên nhà mình hay là trong công viên hay là đến phòng gym và các anh chị chọn cái loại hình thể dục thể thao nào ví dụ vậy rồi câu năm à, bao lâu thì các anh chị nói chuyện với ba mẹ của mình à, nếu mình còn à, sống chung với ba mẹ thì à, mình à, trao đổi trò chuyện vào à, thời gian nào à, lúc bữa ăn hay là cuối tuần hay là những anh chị à, sống à, không sống xa à, ba mẹ thì mình sẽ liên hệ à, với ba mẹ bằng cách nào à, gọi video call hay là <cười> chúng ta có group chat của gia đình và mình thường chia sẻ những thông tin gì Ok uh, So I think uh, you need to have some time to prepare for each question instead of uh, just saying one time two times or once or twice or three times you should ask more detail uh, give me more information that's the way can help you to practice uh, speaking more and more là cho các anh chị thời gian chuẩn bị tí xíu ha Hy vọng là các anh chị sẽ có nhiều thông tin chia sẻ hơn cho mỗi câu hỏi thay vì các anh chị chỉ trả lời là um, bao lâu mình thực hiện cái hoạt động đó một lần Ok, so let's you think first <cười> If you're ready, so let's raise your hands or type your answer in the message Rồi, cũng như thường lệ tí xíu anh chị nào ready rồi thì mình sử dụng biểu tượng cánh tay nha cô sẽ mời các anh chị chia sẻ bật mic hoặc là các anh chị viết vào hộp chat ha ok so let's think first
Rồi các anh chị mình mới vào lớp thì theo dõi giúp cô phần C ha. Phần này các anh chị thực hành câu hỏi how often à, hỏi về sự thường xuyên. À, các anh chị cố gắng mình sẽ chia sẻ thêm nhiều thông tin ở mỗi câu hỏi thay vì các anh chị chỉ trả lời số lần các anh chị thực hiện các hoạt động này thôi ha. Ok, so let's think and then uh, tell me your answer please. Uh, hello, Mr. Lok. Uh, are you raising your hands for this part? Mr. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, how are you today? <laughs> I sleep <laughs> because yesterday I went up uh, until uh, 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, for walking. Ah, so that's why you said that you feel sleepy right now? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, but uh, I hope that after you <laughs> participate in the class with a lot of activity, uh, can wake you up and you don't feel sleepy anymore. <laughs> okay, thank you for your sharing. And uh, now let's start with your answers, please. Yeah, I actually it try a week on Tuesday and Thursday from uh, six thirty p.m. to eight thirty p.m. Yeah. Uh, I uh, seldom meet my friends because I am very busy uh, working and uh, going to the university. Uh, yeah, normally I only uh, meet my friends uh, three or four times per year. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I usually uh, doing exercise every day at 5 a.m. Uh, It take me uh, at least uh, 30 minutes to uh, run in. Mm -hmm. uh, so because that's uh, I uh, don't uh, meet the doctor uh, in this year. I uh, only I only uh, miss the, the doctor once per year for the um, uh, for the uh, manual uh, check check up. Uh, manual yeah. check up. Yeah. Medical check up. Annual medical yeah. check up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't like, uh, I don't like with my parents, so mm -hmm. I usually call them on the weekend. Mm -hmm. That's how this yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for the first uh, volunteer student. For question number the one, you uh, said that you study, uh, what's my subject, listening and speaking one on uh, Tuesday and Thursday, that means twice a week, uh, from 6.30 to 8.30. And for question number two, because you are very busy, so uh, you seldom meet your friends, usually about uh, three or four times a week, uh, sorry, per year, <laughs> okay. And uh, next question, uh, you just meet the doctor, once a year uh, for annual medical checkup yeah maybe because the uh, your company uh, require or you need to know your health uh, status and uh, question four you have 30 minutes per day for running and uh, you start at uh, 8 p.m so that means uh, you have good health and you hardly ever uh, meet the doctor okay And uh, the last question, because you don't uh, live uh, with your parents, so you just uh, call and talk with them at the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Mr. Lau, I have another question for you. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, yeah. So where's your hometown, where your parents are living right now? Yeah, in Ho Chi Minh City, <laughs> but a uh, different uh, district, uh, teacher. Ah, yeah, different district, and uh, yeah. you also live in Ho Chi Minh City. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, that means uh, you're busy and you uh, count them uh, at the weekend. Mm -hmm. How about uh, your friend? You said that you meet them for three or four times a year. So I uh, usually, uh, what do you uh, do or where do you usually uh, go to meet together? Uh, uh, 
Uh, we will usually uh, go to the restaurant to drink beer. <laughs> okay, drink beer. Okay, yeah, that's a um, uh, good place for us to meet our relative, our friend uh, after a long time. Yeah, can you drink beer uh, a lot? Yeah, yes, teacher, because I am a shell man, <laughs> so I can drink a lot. Okay, yeah, that's the way you can uh, expand uh, <clears throat> your relationship. It uh, can support for your job, your business. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your sharing. And now we are listen to another student answers. That is uh, Mr. Tong, is that right? I see you raise your hands again. So let's turn on your mic and uh, share your answer, please. Uh, Mr. Lop, uh, already? Yeah, already uh, he finished oh, his okay. answers, okay. and now your turn. Uh, oh, okay. uh, I share my, uh, I, I see fire, this fire center very important for our lives. Yeah. So, uh, so I want to share number one and number five yeah yeah uh, let's start number one number one uh, uh, i'm a new member so my yeah. idea we future our class shoes design yeah, that's class. Okay. <laughs> yes <laughs> a meeting <midget> class <laughs> offline uh, yeah sometimes we uh, really important for every body in our class mm. Number uh, number five. How often do you visit to our parent this center uh, with my life? I uh, near nowadays I see too important. Uh, in my life when I'm in central, in mm. central move to Kimin City from mm. uh, 2006, mm. uh, 2000, 2002, 2002. Uh, uh, I really learning in what uh, over over 20 years yeah so uh, when i'm i'm single i'm single i seldom connect mm. to my parent it is not good uh until until uh, i get married oh, okay. uh, until i get married uh, i see uh, oh uh, family too important uh we have to yeah. Uh, consider we have to think in uh, our uh, mother our father because mm -hmm. when i have children i see yeah, yeah. Uh, father and my mother too important mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. and so well i'm when i'm single single i um, only think uh, for my career and uh, looking for job and mm -hmm. earning money yeah. and uh, the other uh, sky in Ho Chi Minh City only. Mm. Uh, so uh, nobody, nobody, I uh, I have to quickly, quickly, quickly and co connect to uh, two families, mm. my family and my wife families. So uh, I see, uh, I, I see uh, and I want to share to everybody uh, we should uh, cry. Uh, mm. connect to our family oftenly mm. uh, one week one time is possible and uh, uh, every day is okay or two, three day okay but uh, mm -hmm. uh, one month uh, if uh, we are too busy we try mm. one week one time for our mother our father yeah. yes uh, very important my opinion I, I, I think that <laughs> okay thank you very much for your sharing yeah for question number two and uh, that's normal but question number three that's uh, so meaningful okay uh, I uh, I'm, I'm still a uh, single but uh, when I, I I see my uh, my sister and my brother when they get married and they have to spend time to take care of their children yeah i really wow. understand that uh yeah. our parents have the spend on their life uh, to love uh, their 
children and uh, support uh, for us. So um, I understand what you have sharing. That's mm-hmm. so informed. Yeah. And uh, yeah. especially for the the information you started when you uh, were single, you uh, try to uh, earn money, you do your job, and actually uh, you don't uh, spend a lot of time to connect with Many your parents. Reset. Yeah, <laughs> but after you get married, and especially yeah. when you have uh, children, yes. and uh, you can realize the, uh, the, the love of our parents and uh, yeah. you you uh, see uh, the way your parents take care of uh, their grandchildren and yes. you say that we should spend time to connect, to contact with our parents at least once a week or even once, uh, once one time a day or once a day. Okay, that's a very good uh, yeah. advice and uh, I think that uh, not only for people who have get married already but also the single like make although we we live far away from our parents we should uh, spend time with them okay uh, actually my parents uh, they uh, they're nearly 80 years old yeah mm. and um, my mom last year uh, she fell down and uh, she couldn't move by herself anymore okay so uh, Every month, I uh, manage my work to come back my hometown in the Nyan province to visit them once, so once a month, yeah. And uh, every day, uh, especially, uh, my parents uh, manage and uh, make a note time that is uh, 9 p.m. every day. I make a phone call to them. Just say something about five minutes and then they go to sleep. But that's look like a habit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I uh, say I'm very happy and lucky uh, when uh, I still have my parents uh, at this age. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank near you. time, uh, near time, I uh, <clears throat> uh, one day I uh, up after I'm uh, I'm a teacher uh, on uh, night, uh, so I, in my car I listen um, from uh, radio. Mm. I hear one story from uh, one girl. And, uh, she uh, she very um, she 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 share information to radio, Ho Chi Minh mm. Ho Chi Minh radio. Um, yeah. So I I listen. Uh, she uh, she in Khan Hoa Province. Khan mm-hmm. Khan Hoa Province. She come mm. to Ho Chi Minh. In Kanwa Province, she the number one uh, uh, people. He, mm. uh, he, she good looking, and come mm-hmm. to Ho Chi Minh City, uh, she uh, shown the best uh, university. Mm-hmm. After after ready from university, mm. uh, she uh, go to working, but uh, uh, her life uh, not good uh, for mm-hmm. love not good mm-hmm. for job and not good mm-hmm. um, one one time uh, that uh, that holiday, holiday. Uh, she, she she cannot come back um, come back oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, with the uh, uh, father because um, mother died long time ago oh, okay. uh, only father and she mm-hmm. so uh, she cannot uh, come back uh, mm-hmm. his father his father understand uh, oh. her father understand uh, mm-hmm. so uh, after that, I see uh, maybe um, she, she, she come back to Kanwa. The uh, that time, uh, her father go to hospital. Oh. Uh, after the after that, he died. Mm-hmm. So he died. So yeah. uh, she she cry and she she mm. she she uh, she Seek she thinking, uh, yes. so she uh, request. Uh, on, on only three months after that holiday, uh, he, uh, her father cannot uh, continue in, yeah, in, in, yeah. in this life. So she share information. So mm. I see. I, I I'm a man. So I I, I hear that information. Uh, I yeah. write yes okay. in my car. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm, we are thinking more. I mean more. He, mm. With uh, my, our family, uh, some 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 person. Family mm. in Ho Chi Minh is okay, uh, mm. but uh, it's, um, it's, um, for my I have my friend uh, it, uh, different. It, it seldom go together. Mm. Uh, 
so busy 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 and every time every week the busy and many reason or uh, busy and uh, so uh, i see uh, we should we should we should and every time connect to our family uh, family with my father and mother uh, yes uh, i think this story very important yeah, for maybe. everybody i can thank you for your thank you teacher yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so now with the, the new student, but uh, you have a lot of uh, idea and information and uh, experience from the real life to share with us. Thank you very much. Uh, with the story, uh, you have listened uh, on the radio. Yeah, that's a sad story. Okay, that means uh, yes. what happened to us and uh, we should um, think that we're still lucky to have our parents and our family and uh, should visit our parent uh, as open as uh, possible and uh, uh, for uh, the information you say that uh, after you listen to this story you cry yeah i don't think <laughs> our uh, whether we are uh, we are women or men yeah that, yeah. <laughs> that is a meaningful and uh, uh, emotional story we can cry that's normal <laughs> okay yeah. Yeah. thank you thank you very much for your sharing Okay, class, uh, after we listen to some student opinion uh, by raising their voice uh, from the mic, and now we look at the answers in the messages. Uh, let's see. I hope that a lot of uh, interesting information here. Uh, the first answer from Miss Ying. Uh, I did not live together with my parents for a long time because of getting married. So I can't speak to them every day. However, I often meet them at my house in the, at the weekend. Uh, they usually come to play with my children as well as sharing daily story. Further, uh, we also have a family roof chat on yellow to talk and uh, inform the family news. Okay, that's so nice and great. Uh, we have a roof uh, on yellow uh, with all of the members in our family so we can share the news, uh, the picture, or everything that uh, happened in the daily life. Okay, that's help us can have more connection together. Thank you. Uh, one more student, that is uh, Miss Sung, uh, Tan Sung. Uh, I take your class twice a week. The next day, I listen to lecture again. My English is not good. Okay, that's a very good habit. Uh, some students very busy and uh, they can't focus 100% on studying. And uh, we have the recording. After that, you can listen again and uh, try to understand more clearly the content of the course. Uh, that's the way we study. Thank you. Uh, I usually meet my best friend once a month. Last Sunday, I went to her house. Uh, we cooked hot pot, watched entertainment program together. I go to <clears throat> the doctor twice a year uh, for regular health checks. Sometimes I get sick, I go to the doctor to get medicine. Okay, thank you. Uh, I enjoy exercise. I walk uh, 15 minutes after dinner. I live with my parents. I talk to them every day. Lucky you. Okay. You uh, live with your parents uh, and you talk with them every day. Very happy. Uh, fresh, uh, another student, that's Miss Phun Tan. I often go to English class. Uh -huh. I sometimes miss my friend to drink coffee, uh, listen to music, and go shopping. Yeah, listen to music and go shopping. Thank you. Wow, you are a doctor. <laughs> I'm a doctor because uh, I miss uh, college. It's a doctor every day, <laughs> okay? Thank you. Uh, you work at the hospital. Uh, you are a doctor, so your colleagues uh, are also doctors, so you miss them every day. Thank you for your sharing. Uh, I practice yoga one hour a day or every day. It helps me to stay uh, healthy. Good. 
Uh, I speak to my parents every day because I live with my family. Uh, we often talk about work and my children. Thank you. Uh, one more student, Miss Lang An. Uh, we have this class twice a week on Tuesday and Wednesday from 6.30 to 8.30. Okay, maybe you forget you study with me on Thursday and on Tuesday and Thursday, yeah, Thursday, not Wednesday. I usually hang out with my best friend about twice a year, or one Christmas and one in Lunar New Year. Okay, maybe your best friend uh, lives far away from you, <laughs> so you just uh, miss him or her uh, twice a year. I go to the doctor one time a year for health check. I often do exercise about three times a week. I love walking around with my dog. Mm -hmm. My family usually hang out in the weekend to stay to taste uh, some good food and drink and share feeling about several days. Thank you. A lot of uh, interesting idea uh, our class may have shared, and uh, I hope that for the student who haven't uh, participated in this task, uh, you can do it again at home. Nãy giờ có khá là nhiều anh chị chia sẻ đáp án, cả bật mic và trong tin nhắn, uh, rất là nhiều idea hay. Hy vọng là những anh chị nãy giờ mình chưa có tham gia cái bài này thì các anh chị dành thời gian để mình làm lại ha. Ok, you can do it at home to practice more and more. Uh, and now we move to this part class. Now, bây giờ các anh chị sẽ qua phần tiếp theo. Uh, so let's look at. Uh, we have the picture here. Uh, could you uh, just look at the picture and don't read uh, the information below? Yeah. Could you tell me uh, what can you see in the picture? Uh, what is the man in the picture doing? Rồi, trước khi mình tìm hiểu rõ cái nội dung của bài thì các anh chị thử quan sát giúp cô bức hình thôi. À, các anh chị đừng đọc thông tin gì cả, các anh chị chỉ quan sát bức hình à, và cho cô biết là mình à, à, nhìn thấy điều gì trong cái bức hình này. À, cái người nam trong hình này đang làm gì? Ok, so let's tell me what can you see uh, in the picture and what is, uh, what is the main uh, doing right now. Ok, so let's think and tell me your answer please. Mình không cần đọc thông tin bên dưới nha các anh chị. Chỉ cần uh, quan sát giúp con bức hình thôi. Uh, dựa vào các thông tin trong bức hình thì các anh chị đón xem là uh, nhân vật trong hình đang làm gì vậy. Ok, so let's think and then tell me your answer please.
Okay, class. So uh, let's see some student answers in the masses. The first answers from Mr. Lop. You said that he is working in the office. Okay, thank you. So we can see uh, there's some there's computer on the desk and he focused uh, looking at something on the screen. Yeah, maybe he's working. Thank you. Another student that is Miss Yuyin. Uh, you said that. He's working and doing exercise at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe uh, he's standing on a kind of machine and uh, walking um, while he's doing uh, his work at the same time. Thank you. Uh, Miss Tan Sung started. Uh, he stand on a machine and uh, work with computer. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think He's collecting some related data and doing data analysis to find the result. Okay, thank you, dancer from Mr. V. Uh, có thể anh này uh, đang uh, thu thập dữ liệu và uh, phân tích uh, dữ liệu để tìm ra kết quả. Okay, thank you. Uh, you uh, use the word uh, analysis. Yeah, that's the nice, the nice word. Thank you. Uh, Miss Kim Phu say that he's playing games. Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe uh, he have break time at the work and now he's playing game to uh, uh, release stress. Uh, Mr. Lop say that he's working on computer and walking uh, in the treatments in his office. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Văn Thành. Uh, he is working on computer at the office while talking, uh, taking Sorry, taking the treatment. According to my knowledge, it's called a treatment workstation. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your sharing. Uh, Mr. V also uh, asked more information. Maybe he is sick. Uh, he is being sick for uh, exam high blood pressure because he cannot smile. <laughs> Okay, thank you for your sharing. Yeah, we don't know exactly what's happening. Uh, we just guess, and you think maybe you uh have exam uh high blood pressure, and now he cannot smile. Thank you very much for your sharing, class. Yeah, some student have great uh, idea, uh, interesting idea. Thank you. And now we will uh, read information below and uh, you will know exactly what's happening. À, bây giờ các anh chị à, xem thông tin bên dưới ha, à, để chúng ta biết rõ thêm là anh này đang làm gì đây. Ok. À, Dr. Chen Levin of Michael Lynette says that uh, most people do far too much sitting uh, in the course of their day. Yeah, for example, if you work at the office and uh, you have to sit at the desk about an hour per day to finish your work, mm -hmm. that means too much sitting. Uh, uh, he invented uh, the uh, treadmill desk so that more people can exercise while they work. And in a photo, both an office worker uses um, a treadmill desk to walk while he works on a computer. Okay, thank you for some students who have correct answers. Uh, một số anh chị vừa đoán đúng là anh này vừa làm việc vừa tập thể dục luôn. À, và trong cái đoạn này có hai từ các anh chị để ý ha. Bữa trước thì mình có cái cặp từ là heart and hurt. Anh chị nhớ cái câu mình nè, mình học thuộc lòng ha. Don't make my heart hurt. À, cái từ trái tim và cái từ đau đọc à, giống giống nhau nhưng mà 
à, mình à, để ý tí xíu thì sẽ phân biệt được à, trái tim bữa mình đọc là heart à, còn làm đau là hurt à, và bữa nay mình có thêm một cặp từ nữa đó là walk and work ok các chị học một cái ví dụ đơn giản thôi à, tôi đi bộ tới chỗ làm à, cái từ work vừa là động từ vừa là à, danh từ ha các anh chị làm việc hoặc là chỗ làm hoặc là một nghĩa nữa là tác phẩm à, những cái tác phẩm nghệ thuật người ta cũng có thể dùng cái từ work rồi vậy thì mình học một cái ví dụ đơn giản thôi đó là tôi đi bộ tới chỗ làm I walk to work uh, I walk to work ok so that easy to uh, remember the different uh, walk and work ok So let's practice by yourself uh, by learning uh, by heart and say many times a day uh, when you walk to your work and you should say in English. Now we have some more uh, questions for you uh, to discuss. <coughs> Rồi, bây giờ mình uh, có thêm cái phần thảo luận bên dưới. Mình có tới 4 câu hỏi. À, câu số 1 thì nãy các anh chị vừa làm xong rồi mình bỏ qua nha các anh chị. À, mình tiếp tục với từ câu số 2. What effect uh, might uh, this have on his health? À, vậy thì với cái việc mình vừa làm việc, uh, vừa làm việc, vừa tập thể dục như vậy uh, thì nó có ảnh hưởng gì tới sức khỏe của anh ta hay không? Uh, các anh chị thử uh, suy nghĩ và chia sẻ ha. Tiếp theo câu số 3. How often do you take a break? And move around when you are studying or working at the computer. Là bây giờ à, thử à, à, nói về bản thân của các anh chị à, khi mà các anh chị à, học hoặc là làm việc à, có sử dụng máy tính đó, thì thường bao lâu các anh chị à, sẽ nghỉ giải lao và chúng ta có à, là chúng ta có di chuyển à, mình đứng dậy mình vận động một tí xíu hay là chúng ta đi đâu đó rồi một tí xíu nữa mới uh, tiếp tục làm việc và học tập. Ok, so let's think and share your answer with question 3. How often do you take a break and move around? Uh, the last question. What advice might uh, Dr. Lovins give? Uh, write a list of things you think he might tell people and use uh, expression of frequency. Rồi đối với câu 4 á, thì theo các anh chị à, <cười> à, giáo sư Lê Viên sẽ cho mình những cái lời khuyên gì à, để chúng ta có được cái một cái sức khỏe tốt và các anh chị có thể sử dụng các cái uh, trạng từ chỉ thời gian lúc nãy mình học trong câu hỏi How often đó các anh chị để mình uh, thêm vào trong cái nội dung câu trả lời Ví dụ Everyone should exercise at least Uh, three times a week. Uh, rồi các anh chị thử uh, viết thêm cho cô uh, khoảng uh, hai đáp án nữa, hai ba đáp án và uh, mình nghĩ đó là uh, giáo sư Levin sẽ khuyên mình để làm những cái việc gì cho có được một cái sức khỏe thật là tốt. Các anh chị có thể dùng động từ uh, shoot ha, hoặc là shoot đình. Uh, nếu mình khuyên là không nên làm gì thì mình sẽ dùng shoot đình. Ok, so let's think uh, and then Continue to uh, turn on your mic and share your answer or type in the message. Rồi, cho các anh chị thời gian uh, chuẩn bị tí xíu. Hy vọng là sẽ có nhiều anh chị bật mic uh, mình trao đổi với nhau hoặc là mình uh, lại ghi vào uh, trong hộp chat. Ha. Ok, so let's think and then tell me your answer please. From question number 2, từ câu thứ 2 nha các anh chị. Câu 1 lúc nãy mình đã thảo luận rồi. Ok, so let's think.
Okay, class. So let's see uh, in our message, some students share their answers. <clears throat> For question number one, uh, Mr. Wolfwick said that he's been working and doing exercise at the same time. Uh, his health might be affected. Uh, he will be too tired when he walks and uh, he looks at the screen of the computer. Uh, doing exercise when we're working will make the clothes to be wet uh, because it's very hot. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you think uh, his health will be affected and uh, while we're working and doing exercise at the same time, it makes our clothes wet. Um, because uh, when our body uh, heart movement, is real uh, hot. Thank you. I often take a break after 30 minutes, uh, sorry, 19 minutes and go to a cool machine to take something to drink. Okay, thank you for your sharing. Uh, one more student that is Miss uh, Sung Tan. Uh, uh, he uses treadmill desk uh, to walk while he works on a computer. I think uh, it's good for his house. About uh, after about uh, two hours of working on computer, uh, I will stand up and move out of the office. And exercise, uh, you should eat vegetable and fruits every day. Every Sunday, I play sport like soccer and swimming. Thank you. Uh, before we continue with other students, uh, we listen to uh, the answer from Mr. Mr. Bao Min. Okay. So let's uh, turn on your mic and uh, share your idea, please. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, yes, hello, Mr. Let's tell me your answer. Uh, mostly, uh, the, the work like work this, like this. Uh, mm. may affect to his health. Uh, maybe he got very tired in his mind and also his body because mm. he had to focus to work and also working on the treadmill mm. um and uh the third one um i i open i often uh take a break uh, about two and a half hour mm. and it's, uh, i move around i stand up and move around um to refresh my mind and also my eyes mm. Uh, also, I have a soft side, so if I work with the computer too much, my eye got very tired. Okay. And um, I usually play badminton every day, mm. uh, about two or two and a half hour at my time. And uh, this makes me feel refreshed after a hard working day. Mm. And if I may be Mr. Levi, if I think he will give us uh, some advice about doing exercise and working, and uh, we eat some more fresh, uh, fresh fruit or vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Thank you for your sharing. Yeah, for question, <clears throat> the first question, you think that uh, it will uh, make the people or the person in the picture uh, tired because they have to work and doing exercise at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, for yourself, uh, if you have to work or study at the computer after uh, two hour or two and a half hour, uh, you need to stand up and move to regress your mind and your eyes. And then uh, you can continue uh, with your work or your study. Okay, thank you for your sharing. And uh, for the last question, uh, if uh, 
the doctor would like to give some advice and maybe uh, he will say everyone should uh, work and uh, should do exercise and eat more fresh fruit and uh, vegetables. Okay, uh, I have another question for you. Uh, if your company, yeah, I suggest that uh, they would spend money to buy uh, a trick meal as like that for the employees. Uh, would you like to have one in your office? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, in our office, the, the desk it can move up to stand to work. Mm. So, so if we do with the treadmill uh, below our feet, it's not really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do you think that um, in order to have the worker or the employees have better health. Yeah, the company should buy these kinds of machine. Yes or no? Uh, I don't think so. It's mm -hmm. no. Because uh, if uh, the company uh, aware of the health of the employer, employees, mm -hmm. uh, employers, employers, yeah, employers. Yeah, employees, uh, so employees. Yeah, employees. Mm -hmm. employees. Yeah. So uh, they should uh, invent uh, to better screen, uh, uh, better chair for the worker or employees. Mm -hmm. Because uh, nowadays we have a lot of better screen is uh, de uh, decrease the blue, um, I say the the blue light. Mm -hmm. So it's. So it's not yeah, really it's right. Right. Okay. and also the chair with the comfortable seat. So it's maybe if I, more than the treadmill, the, the workstation treadmill. Mm. OK, thank you for your answers. Uh, so in your opinion, instead of um, buying this kind of machine, uh, the company should invest uh, for the facility uh, such a the screen of the computer that can reduce uh, the effect of the blue light. Uh, that's really harmful to our health, especially for our eyes. And uh, maybe uh, invest in buying a more comfortable chair. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your sharing. Any more suggestion from uh, our classmate who would like to raise your voice? Mm, let's look at in the messages and uh, see some more students have uh, sent the answers. Uh, Mr. Lop say that uh, I think uh, it will be good for our for your health if you walk at a slow space and uh, the work in a straight form. If you walk at a fast pace uh, and have to concentrate on working, uh, your body will need a lot of energy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's think about if we just do one action, uh, we have uh, the energy uh, to be uh, consumed uh, in uh, a long time, but if we have to do the same, uh, sorry, uh, to action at the same time, that means we uh, have to spend a lot of energy. Thank you. And uh, next information, your heart rate uh, will increase. Yeah, your heart beat uh, will increase. You have sweating and uh, lost water and mineral. Uh, if you do not provide to your body water, uh, or illustrable life. Okay. Thank you. Uh, one more student, Miss Lang An. Yeah, you say that he walking and working at the same time. I think uh, he will lose his weight, uh, have more energy to do his work, and don't feel sleepy. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe he want to lose weight. Uh, and uh, if we do exercise. 
suitably and uh, enough that maybe we can get uh, more energy to do uh, our task and don't feel sleepy while we are uh, working, okay? I usually take a break uh, and move around after studying on at the laptop about one hour. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ting Ang said that he's working and doing exercise at the same time. He cannot concentrate on his work and it makes him headache. Okay, exactly. Okay, uh, we have to look at the screen. We have to remember uh, we should move our last uh, because we're standing on the machine. So maybe uh, it makes our head dizzy or we get headache. I almost am uh, sitting in uh, my seat and only move out when I go to the toilet. Okay. Last student, uh, Mr. Wick, said that you should drink at least two liters per day. Uh, drink water, which is low of sugar. Uh, you should do exercise every day, maybe at your workplace. Uh, you should take a break after one or one and a half hours and go around. Okay, exactly. Thank you very much, class. Uh, a lot of uh, idea has been discussed in the message, and I hope that uh, after we uh, finish the lesson, uh, many students will manage time to uh, do more exercise because all of you think that exercise is so important and uh, we need to spend time to do it. Okay, class. Uh, actually, we have uh, spent a lot of time to discuss about healthy habits. And here, that is the way when you would like to give a presentation about this topic. Uh, first, you need to give an introduction. Uh, the second one, you need to uh, give information about personal health and exercise habits. A plan for staying healthy in the future and uh, a conclusion about thank you to the audience for listening. Rồi bữa giờ là các anh chị uh, mình uh, tập trung vào cái nội dung uh, healthy habits, uh, những cái thói quen để mang lại uh, cho chúng ta một cái sức khỏe tốt và uh, khi các anh, chị, các anh chị trình bày cái nội dung này thì mình sẽ có ở bốn cái phần chính đầu tiên đó là giới thiệu là các anh chị introduction sau đó thì uh, thông tin cá nhân của các anh chị về tình trạng sức khỏe cũng như là các cái thói quen các cái thói quen các anh chị uh, tập những cái loại hình thể dục thể thao nào ví dụ uh, và tiếp theo đó là kế hoạch tương lai của mình để làm sao mà chúng ta có được một cái sức khỏe rất là tốt và cuối cùng là kết luận và cũng như là lời cảm ơn đối với uh, khán giả những người đang nghe mình uh, thuyết trình ok and uh, I think you can do it at home and we uh, will see this part in the midterm and final test và phần này thì các anh chị uh, sẽ thực hành thêm ở nhà ha phần A cũng như phần B một số câu hỏi liên quan về vấn đề sức khỏe chúng ta cũng đã thảo luận khá nhiều and uh, những câu hỏi này thì uh, uh, Miss Tom Tess và Final we will meet them again now we move to the next part mm, yes let's look at uh, a very beautiful picture okay class so imagine uh, if you appear in this picture Can you guess what kinds of season is this and what are the people in the picture doing? Yeah, uh, we just guess uh, a very beautiful picture in uh, Vancouver in Canada. And it has been taken in the park and some people are driving bicycles. Okay. Very beautiful, is that right? And maybe that is uh, the fall or the autumn season. Mm -hmm. Some people are driving their bicycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, far away, you can see people walking. Uh, people are walking or strolling. Uh, maybe they enjoy the fresh air. Or someone is taking the picture and look at the view from the sea. Uh, it's so beautiful. Và bây giờ uh, hôm nay mình sẽ uh, xem một cái uh, video. Anh các chị một cái uh, video về uh, một cái liệu pháp 
trị bệnh bằng uh, những cái con ong uh, bi atrafe uh, bây giờ mình sẽ uh, uh, xem một số cái nội dung liên quan uh, ở Việt Nam thì uh, cái uh, fish therapy cũng khá phổ biến các anh chị uh, at uh, some cafe <cười> at uh, some cafe or some places uh, they could like to provide a service uh, of the people who help uh, health wrestling and they use the fish to give uh, them with the masses and uh, they feel very interesting and uh, feel better after they enjoy this kind of treatment right À, bây giờ mình sẽ có ba uh, câu hỏi thảo luận khá là hay um, và trong cái uh, một trong ba câu hỏi này các anh chị thấy có cái từ acupuncture acupuncture yes that is the picture <cười> if you uh, have try uh, the acupuncture uh, you can see in the picture uh, someone you a very long needle yeah and uh, Some people feel very scared. <laughs> okay, actually, uh, my mom used to uh, try this uh, treatment, and every time I, I uh, saw her doing that, I feel very scared. <laughs> okay, so now let's look at question number one in part A. Uh, when you are sick, uh, do you turn uh, to modern medicine or to for health? Yeah. Could you explain uh, some reason? Have you ever tried traditional medicine such as acupuncture? And uh, the last one, which kinds of medicine works better, uh, modern or uh, tradition? Uh, could you explain? Và đây mình sẽ có ba câu hỏi thảo luận phần A nha các anh chị. À, câu hỏi đầu tiên khi mà các anh chị bị ốm đó thì thường các anh chị có sử dụng thuốc tây không? À, modern medicine, à, những cái loại thuốc hiện tại à, hiện đại mình gọi chung đó là thuốc tây đó. Thì à, các anh chị cho một số thông tin, ví dụ à, giải thích là à, một số anh chị thì nói là để vài hôm khi hết rồi thôi, có anh chị thì phải dùng thuốc liền các anh chị thì uh, uống uh, nước cam nước chanh những khi cảm uh, và nếu không hết thì mới sử dụng thuốc ok let's share uh, câu hỏi số 2 thì các anh chị uh, đã từng trải trải nghiệm qua các cái liệu pháp um, trị bệnh truyền thống giống như là chúng ta uh, trong bức hình là các anh chị acupuncture uh, ví dụ như chăm cứu chẳng hạn rồi câu cuối cùng uh, theo các anh chị thì uh, giữa thuốc tây với lại những cái loại thuốc truyền thống như thuốc nam chẳng hạn à, thì các anh chị thấy là cái thuốc nào nó hiệu quả hơn à, và lý do tại sao ok can you give me some uh, example <cười> yeah, some students say uh, it depends yeah, and you can give me the example for question 3 ok let's you think first là cho các anh chị uh, chuẩn bị tí xíu rồi mình cùng chia sẻ ha
Okay, our class uh, look you very quiet. Are you tired and sleepy? <laughs> no one could like to share the answers to me. Bữa nay trời mưa gió sấm sét quá, không biết là các anh chị tới giờ này có vẻ là out of energy hay sao chưa nghe thấy một tiếng động tình nào cả, chưa thấy anh chị nào share đáp án. Ok, hello Mr. Wang, ok, I'm happy when there's some student raise hands, so let's tell me your answer please. You raise your hand, is it right? À, Miss Văn Thành, sorry, Miss Văn. Mr. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Yeah, hello. How are you today? Yeah, today is uh, my voice is not good because I got a flu and uh, my glass is burning. <laughs> so, yeah, I have okay. seen. But uh, I try to uh, uh, share my answers. You update. also try to share your answers. That's yeah. good. So let's tell me uh, your opinion, please. Yeah, <clears throat> we turn to the, 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 the first question. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, I refer to modern medicine mm -hmm. than the traditional one. Yeah. You know, because um, actually it depended, mm -hmm. but uh, due to the development of medical, especially mm -hmm. in science and technology, modern medicine, I think that's it's cause illness way faster than the traditional one. Yeah. Yeah. And but uh, also it have a side effects. Mm. Mm. But I, 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 I also refer that modern because it's uh, way more faster than. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And um, you can easily uh, buy uh, modern medicine on every uh, like medicine store yeah. located on uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. Uh, it's uh, very like uh, like traditional one. I, I don't know where to buy it. Mm, maybe on a district five, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of traditional store, but it's not like uh, mm, believable. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's some kind of that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. About the question number two, I have never tried traditional medicine, such as acupuncture. But my dad, my dad uh -huh. have tried it. On the uh, Ho Chi Minh Traditional Medicine Institution, I remember that it's located on uh, Nguyễn Văn Trỗi Street. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I remember. But it's on I, the street. I, I, yeah, I am not. Uh, I'm not you in acupuncture, but I have like a message, massage, <laughs> on uh, in the uh, the institution, and uh, they 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 do it very well, mm -hmm. uh, very uh, professional. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, and we turn to the uh, question number three. <laughs> yeah, I think that's modern, modern, modern medicine that work better. Yes. Uh, I I don't study in in, in medicine. I I don't know exactly, but uh, I think that because of the the development of nowadays, so uh, they have uh, invented a lot of medicine mm -hmm. that. Um, like he um, lowered the side effects as mm. yeah as uh, as good as they can and uh, traditional one there's uh, some traditional one is very uh, like a traditional medicine is very um, you can use it sometimes mm. uh, for example like you got a flu or mm. a bad cold then you can buy some leaf and tree mm, and yeah. you make it like a sauna room right yeah <laughs> and it's cool very like uh, effectively yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's it that's my opinion mm -hmm. uh, okay uh, you said that you maybe you get a flu or cold uh, so could you like to buy some kinds of leaf uh, and have a solo room uh, to make your body relief uh, with someone, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, with something, it. yeah, and uh, you get better. Would you like to do that? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> sometime I will try it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. Yeah. Um, yeah. We study in the evening, and uh, 
Now it's uh, going to finish the lesson, and most of uh, your classmates feel very tired. Then you, the first one uh, who could like to answer this part. <clears throat> For question number one, uh, actually, you refer modern medicine, uh, yeah, to uh, tradition, uh, traditional medicine, because uh, you think that was the development of uh, science. And especially in uh, medical field, yeah, we uh, can believe that modern medicine uh, have better effect uh, than traditional one. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you use the word uh, unbel. <laughs> Sometimes uh, for traditional uh, medicine, uh, we we cannot uh, sure about the. Uh, uh, material uh, or the thing that uh, people use to make the medicine and uh, we can say sometimes uh, uh, it's uh, not reliable, okay? And uh, for question number two, you haven't tried any traditional medicine such as acupuncture, but your dad had do that, mm, I have done that and uh, you try just uh, the medicines and you think that it's uh, it's good for your health. And uh, for the last question, uh, the same as number one, your opinion. Uh, yeah, keep the same. That means uh, you think modern medicine will work better than a traditional one. And uh, you, we can buy. It's easier uh, than traditional one. Uh, we can stop by the store or pharmacy to buy modern medicine. And uh, for traditional one, we have to know uh, somewhere. And uh, you get example in District 5, yeah, a lot of uh, store, uh, they sell traditional uh, medicine, OK? And uh, one more example, uh, you say that sometimes uh, traditional medicine have uh, good effect uh, like uh, when we get flu or cold we can use uh, some uh, kinds of leaf and tree and uh, we can have a uh, sauna um, like uh, make our body uh, hot and uh, there's something not good uh, inside our health uh, will come out and uh, we have better health okay uh, one more thing that uh, you use the word bad side or bad uh, effect uh, when we use uh, traditional one. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, let's see any more suggestion in the masses. Thank you, Mr. Wang. And uh, we see uh, one more student give suggestion in the masses. Let's miss Wing. Uh, yes, I do, uh, because it works quickly. Uh, I used to have acupuncture for shoulder pain because I took medicine and the pain didn't go away, and I found it had a clear effect. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. V uh, say that when I'm sick, I use modern medicine, uh, usually because my house needs the pharmacy shop okay and uh, for example today i used three times of medicine to trick uh to treat headache and sore throat okay i hope you uh, get better soon with the bad weather and uh, there's some student in our class uh, get sick today i used to try traditional medicine but I still use acupuncture. Uh, I just use traditional oil to stretch uh, on the surface of the skin where I hurt. Mm, I'm afraid of this method because of I because I don't like something very soft to be put in my body. Okay, and I understand that feeling uh, when uh, I uh, saw my mom doing. Uh, this kind of treatment are really scared and I think that it's really, really hurt. Uh, but when I asked my mom, she said, that, that, that's okay, uh, that's not really hard. Yeah, 
And uh, question number three, I think there is no kinds of medicine work better based on the patient can, can be suitable or what's modern or traditional. Almost belong to the budget and uh, they can repair so they can choose the best treatment method. I think, uh, sorry, I, in my opinion, I like traditional treatment more than modern methods, except some dangerous cases. Okay, thank you very much your, for your answers, Mr. Vic. And uh, Ms. Yuying also asked more information for question three. I think uh, both have their own effect. Modern medicine work quickly. But long term use is not good for the uh, kidneys and the tradition method. Traditional method works for a long time but ends completely. Okay. Many people uh, think that traditional medicine uh, we have to use in the long term, but uh, when it's work, uh, the system. Or the disease uh, stuff forever. I I don't know is the correct one hundred percent or not. But many people believe that. Okay, and as uh, our class have mentioned, uh, it depend on a lot of reason, like uh, your budget, uh, your sickness, uh, the kinds of sickness or diseases you have. And your body is uh, suitable for traditional or modern method, and we have to think uh, carefully to choose which one is suitable for us. Okay, class. Um, was the very uh, tired day, study, <laughs> studying uh, late at night, and uh, after stuck in the rain today. I think that's enough for our lesson today. Thank you, class. We stop here. Good luck. Good night, and see you on Thursday night. Thank you, class. Goodbye. Good night, and see you again. Goodbye, teacher. Yeah. Goodbye. See you next time. Yeah. So let's have a uh, dinner and uh, have good night. Okay. Goodbye, class.